Hello, I'm Satoshi Yamamoto. Welcome back to my time bench for the um, um, part two of two mix salmon fly. Uh, okay, so now we have um, reason actually I want to redo is uh, due to the uh, uh, music. One of uh, music songs I used for for the original video got some um, well copyright or something I guess. So uh, they kind of muting. You know, it just uh, that's the way it goes, I guess. So um, I don't like it. So I change uh, my uh, background music and then um, try to redo. Uh, probably I can type better uh, fly and then shoot better videos anyway. So okay, I kind of undo this and then uh, um, I undo you know un un untwist it again. Then uh, this part I, li I remain here and then uh, I just wrapped like that, uh, hung on to the body. And then I figured since we have enough body and then uh, um, you know it's we gotta extend the body here. So I like to. Uh, finish my uh, um, my uh, body body part of that uh, um, on the hook is actually half of you know hook shank so where, it, where it's tied to the eye just about a half I believe this is uh, pretty much enough and then we need a, a lot of flat, uh, space towards the end and then uh, um, I don't um, for the durability and then uh, um, Kind of easier purpose. Kind of want to apply a, um, a super glue, any type of super glue, and I'm twisting again. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. Yeah. Okay. Uh, body hako. Uh, I'm gonna tie in uh, 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 probably one of the biggest part of. Uh, um, I mean, uh, from the you know whole cape. Whole, ca uh, whole, whole uh, cape. I'm just. I just plucked out. You know, <laughs> the biggest in the in the in the back that that I saw them use. I guess so. Okay. Yeah, I was about to make a mistake. Oh, I gotta go back again because uh, my thread was already on the um, uh, over the uh, over the cement. So, okay. I'm going to twist, pick up one rope behind it, kind of taper down one more rope. Okay, now um, this hako basically over the uh, um, we already have um, I already made the uh, segmentation here, so follow that. Okay. I kind of move my thread towards the eye, and then meanwhile, I'm going to uh, trim this. Uh, here we go. Trim the hako here. So that's why um, uh, one can use any size of uh, um, any length of uh, uh, hako. So that's and then uh, that is why. I use the one in the back that I probably never use for, um, except for this purpose. It may not be necessary, but I I, uh, I prefer um, to leave the. Uh, um, this uh, lower, you know, downside, um, this side kind of tip. 
you know, tapering kind of this way. It may not be necessary, but it kind of looks good at the end. So I'm gonna. Okay. Okay. Wing. This is kind of um, optional, I'd like to say. Uh, kind of underwing of uh, synthetic fibers. You can use this. This is kind of gray, mino gray, EP fiber. Then. Uh, not so, not really, not so much, um, not so much fiber, not, not so many fibers here, just, just sparse amount. Probably about, just about here, not quite reaching, um, this underwing is so not quite reaching the, uh, the, uh, um, um, uh, tip of, you know, extend the body. Okay, uh, for the main wing here would be a buck tail, and uh, I got a very good buck tail. And I already sucked here. The uh, reason I did off camera uh, uh, before I start uh, rolling the video is let me show you. Um, I, I I'm gonna just have to uh, throw throw this one away, but see how. Um, uh, how many, you know, see how, how many, uh, you know, uh, hairs I, uh, I got here, you know, kind of short and almost like under far. And then uh, uh, you're going to have to clean all of this before stacking in the, in the stucker. So, that was not going to make, uh, be not, those short, short hair. Uh, cannot be the part of the hair, so okay. And I guess I don't. I kind of uh, slammed again. <laughs> uh, moved the uh, sh shook the camera a little bit, but I believe this is just about right amount. I still have a. I just couldn't totally get rid of a short fibers, but a bit longer than the um, extending longer than the. Um, you know, under under wing and then almost uh, reaching the tip of um, uh, extend the body. Let's see. One, two, and the three. I'm doing a uh, soft loop. Let's do it again. Soft loop. But I don't want them to roll. One. See the soft loop. Two, I'm not quite tightening it. Then three, with the three that I now I'm really tightening here by putting upward. This should pretty much. Um, then I'm gonna put four and five, almost like a tie uh, uh, dressing a uh, um, married wing of salmon fly. But let's see. I think I'm satisfied with the results, and then the short, short hair that I couldn't totally, you know, get rid of, I just um, will come off eventually. So what I'm gonna do, and I believe I have enough room, I'm gonna start to trim here, trim, um, making a good cascade, which actually making the, uh, which will eventually be a head, not abruptly cut this way, so. Cut, you know, abruptly kind of square like this. And then, almost, this is nothing different from a uh, tying Atlantic salmon fry. Uh, Trimming the wing material, wing butt, um, for the near future, you know, head. Mm. 
Now I'm going to let's see. See how wing looks like. This is how wing look. Uh, this is how wing should. Um, uh, uh, wing I I prefer. Let me. Uh, this is a too big a fly to capture all. And I uh, again apply um. Uh, super glue. This should really hold. Uh, this is a bucktail wing. All right. If I'm tying, um, you know, if I'm tying, um, um, for for um, for my own or for you know commercial purpose, I usually wait a little bit um, to uh, um, dry, but. Um, I guess we don't have time for that, so I'm going to tie in. Uh, yes, brown, uh, brown hako, um, or furnace. I tied in two of them. Okay. This is a good quality, so. I'm not gonna cut this one here. Then the uh, second hako, just go among, well, go kind of zigzag, you know, in between uh, among the uh, first hako. I'm gonna um, set up on here. Which is uncompetitive. <clears throat> yeah, I can trim this one after we finish it. Okay. Okay, we finish. Uh, You don't wanna capture the uh, huckle fibers here. I make this should be good, and then uh, so I recommend uh, this one. Wash any other salmon fry to be fished with a. Uh, uh, 2x at least. Yeah, then um, um, here we go. This is my atomic salmon fly. Um, this couple, well, couple of fiber here. I, I gotta reach in and then trim. Here we go. And then, uh, yeah. I believe this is actually much better fly than the uh, original video. So, um, this is really big, almost like, uh, yeah, inch and a half, almost two inches. And then, uh, again, this one works. Yeah, dip in the uh, uh, oil type flotant, then uh, dip in or dip with <laughs> oil type flotant, and the fish is dry. Then again, uh, once it gets uh, wet and drowned, you know, just a uh, fish as a wet fly. So, uh, well, thank you for watching. Um, hope um, you got a commentary this time. I mean, my comments. So, uh, uh, let me know how it fishes. <laughs>